Catch it. No? No, no. Let's try it. Huh? Ah! Thanks, Dan. He knows I need. Hold I was going to say something else, but he's on the roll today. So... Oh, no. Oh, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> Right, yesterday we wanted to go to a beach. No, let me backtrack. We went to pick the car up when we landed at the airport. Everything was going fine. Got the airport real quick, got yeah. the car rental real quick. Yeah. Got the luggage, no problem. No testing for and uh, coat, 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 yeah, yeah, the passes, right, right, right. no, no test, nothing, nothing, absolutely hassle free. So we got to the car rental place, paid for the car, they said go, go, go there, go there, go there and pick up the car. So we went to pick up the car and the lady took us over to, oh, she, she directed us to where the car was, uh, pod number whatever it was, 65 I think. It was a 4x4, four four. nice. And B and D, who I am, I looked at the car and I said today, we're not taking this one. He said, why? I said, look at the tread on the tires. It's almost at, if not already at, the legal limit. He said, oh, it's all right. I said, do you know what the, the roads are like here? So, I said, I'm not taking it. Because if we go on a slippy road, knowing that there are some gravel roads here in, uh, Puerto Ventura, quite a lot actually. The front tires are going to be sliding everywhere. So as he was absolutely shattered. Bear in mind, if you've watched the first video, you will know he didn't sleep the night before. And he only had a couple of hours on the left though. So he went back to the lady and she said, Sorry, this is the only, because he wanted an automatic. No gears. I think they know what automatic is. Well, do they? Some people might not know what I'm talking about. Anyway. <laughs> she said, you're either going to have to take this one or a manual. I said, I don't want a manual. She said, okay. You have to pay a bit extra. So anyway, we paid a bit extra for a car that had tread on the tyres because they were almost bald on the 4x4 and she said everybody says that about the about our tires and I thought should, 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 maybe we should just think about it <laughs> now's the time I think you said to them also give me money to change tires I said to them if you give me the money I'll go and change the tires I'll do it for you but I'm not driving it like that Dee was alright with it he thought it would be okay to do it how wrong he was so fast forward to yesterday, which is the 6th of September. 7th. 7th of September. We decided to go to a beach to shoot films for Patreon. Yes. Because over in here, you have... Freedom. Freedom. I'll say that. To wear zero on the beaches. Yep. And this particular beach was meant to be really, really nice. Yeah, it was really nice. We looked at it online, actually, and the reviews. But it's two hours away. Two and a half. Two and a half hours away. But Dee's really good at long distance driving. So she was like, hold on. Me, I'm a one and a half hour kind of guy. After Not even that sometimes, but you're falling asleep after about 20 minutes. I'll say that. Um, I get very, 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 very bored. I'm not falling asleep. I get very, very bored. Anyway, he does ahead. get bored. You go ahead. Still your thunder, go ahead. So we looked at the reviews on Google and they said five star, five star, five star for this beach. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You'll never see anything like it anywhere else ever. Oh, I'm like today, really? It's two and a half hours away. Do we want to do that? And most of the reviews said it's a hell of a drive. The road is horrible. There's a part of the road where you're going to have to do 20 kilometers an hour for about half an hour. And he's like, yeah, right. These people have obviously never been to Dominica. No, 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 not Dominican Republic, Dominica. Got it? No, I'll say again, not the Dominican Republic. Dominica, very small island. 
very rural, volcanic island, extremely hilly. Just like here? So we've been there. And Twice. the roads were treacherous. Twice. I've been three. Dee's mm. been two. So we, we drive, we're driving along. And, and I'm driving and I'm like, this is okay. This is fine. These roads are okay. And then the road changed. It's just a dusty road. It, well, the road changed from being tarmac to, to dusty. And to rough. And rough. And I'm like, it's all right. We can do this, day. I can do it. I'm all right. Yeah, carry on. Bearing in mind, we're driving on the other side of the road, the wrong side for us. Right side for you Americans. Yeah, the right side. <laughs> and um, we get to a point, I can't remember where we changed over. We swapped. Yeah, we, we stopped over to do some pictures. Oh, we did. We did. We saw a derelict house, some wild goats. And a crazy bikini. Yeah, crazy bikini. Great crazy bikini. So we did some really nice pictures. Really good. And um, got back in the car. Dee took over the drive-in and carried on. And he was like, yeah, these people, obviously, these review people haven't been to Dominica. They haven't seen the roads there. Have you seen the roads there? Ah, he's going on and on. And then changed. <laughs> he changed the road. Now, I'm going to show you a clip in a minute of a part of the road that I'm talking about. As you're driving, you're meandering up the side of a mountain. And I mean up. And it's high. That's not so bad, you're saying? The roads are just about wide enough for two normal size cars to pass. That's not so bad, you're saying? Okay. The side of the road that's not next to the cliff is a sheer drop. Now, normally with a sheer drop, you can deal with it like in Dominica because there's foliage and forestry. No, no, no. This shows you the drop and it's just a drop. But also, it's hard to explain, but because you've got the slope of the mountain, you can just see the sea. So it looks a lot further a drop than it actually is. It does. Gets worse. And then you get to a meandery bit and there's a snow plow in front of you going the same way you are. What is a snow plow doing in Fuerteventura in 28 degree heat, I hear you ask? Well, he's getting rid of the gravel and the debris on the road that has fallen and the dust and he's shifted, he's, he's plowing it away down the mountain as he's going round. Gets worse. But you can't overtake him because he's too wide. But then the oncoming cars can't get past because he's too wide and if they tried to go past they'd go down the cliff. Gets worse. There are some passing points, but they're not that big. Then, as Dee said, it gets worse. As we got up higher, the road became damp. Not wet. Not wet. Because tires work on the wet. Tires do not work, you know anything about cars, tires do not work on damp. With gravel, so you've got a slidey. It's like a, mu a mud, wasn't it? Yeah. A mud slimy mud and the road is bumpy so the road is the cars jerking when you're doing about 20 miles 20 miles an hour kilometers per hour it gets worse this is european roads so people drive enthusiastically so you're getting people from behind you that's giving you pressure and people coming past you that have been to that place numerous amounts of times now you're there like, I wasn't expecting this. Don't forget the buses that run up there every couple of hours, Dean. Yep. They take you there, because you don't want to drive up. Some people don't want to drive up, so they get the bus. And you can see from this video that nobody's moving very fast. And at this point, we are so high up on the mountain, and Dee's breathing has started to change. He's nervous. Now in all the time that I've known my husband, he's never expressed how afraid of heights he really is. He's driving on the left and the cliff drops on the left. And I'm thinking, why is he breathing so hard? Like he's like exercising. Well, he was because he was trying to stay calm. 
proper calm, and his face changed. There was no turning back at this point. Oh yeah, he did, he did consider turning back. He said to me, should we turn back? I'm like, where? Where do we turn? Can't turn. Going around the mountain, all the way up. Then, even worse, the service light came on during this journey. So does it need new brakes? What does it need? What's wrong with the car? <laughs> we know this car's not a new car. They don't do new cars when they're renting them out to people to just cane them. Not that we were caning them, it was the road that was caning the car. So it's unfamiliar to me because it's a left-hand drive. Okay, you guys like it or whatever. So, okay, fine, I'll put you in a right-hand drive car. Now drive it. So it's, it's odd. Now, I owned a left-hand drive car, but this was many, many years ago. So I'm used to driving on that side of the side of, on vehicles. But it's slightly unfamiliar. It's very unfamiliar. I'd say very unfamiliar, Dave. It's not the same. So, these, these panicking at this point. I'm trying to keep him calm. Actually, I didn't realise he was panicking so much, and I was trying to message our son. And he was like, can you stop what you're doing? And the music went off. He turned off the music because he needed to concentrate that hard. Didn't turn it down, turned it off. Now I've never seen my husband like that, so I was getting a bit worried at this point actually. Anyway, the snow plow went off. The, the road forked and it went off. It was really good. I don't know how it forked, but it did. And then we got a bit further up. And there's some, what was it, an oil tanker reversing. Hello, where are you going? And I said to Dee, you just got to try and pass him, babe. The man stopped his oil tanker for us to pass. So we get past the snow plough, the reversing oil tanker, the damp road, and then, my timing isn't great, guys. Have you ever said something and thought, damn it, I wish I could take that back out of the air. I saw a sign which to me looked like, it was in Spanish, but it looked like it said cemetery. So I kind of just said to Dee, oh, there's a cemetery nearby. And he's still breathing deep. And it's like, Dee, can you shut up? I'm like, oh man, oh man. All right, so I said, sorry Dee. He said, just shut up. Don't think, don't talk. Not great timing, right? Anyway, then, we started to descend. And I kind of calm, tried to calm him down a little bit, tried to take back what I'd come back from what I'd just said <laughs> a little bit. It didn't work. And I said, we're descending now, Dee. It's all all right, it's all right. And he's like, I hated that. It was horrible. It, it was, was horrible. It wasn't, it wasn't pleasant. It really wasn't pleasant. But the beach. The beach. The beach was amazing because there was a car park and everybody kind of goes to the beach around the car park, but you cannot see the end of the beach. It's so long and it's deserted the further you, the further go. you go. There's no vehicles. There's no vehicles that can get down there. There's no road. There's, There's no, no road. vehicles. There's nothing. So where did we go? We went further down. But as the beaches go, normally when you get beaches that are deserted, you've got rocks underneath the seabed or anything like that. It doesn't have that. It's proper um, sand. sand. It's, the sea is clear. The water's not the warmest, but the waves are beautiful. And on the other side of the beach, you've got beautiful hills. Not hills, they, they were mountains. They weren't hills, they were mountains. It was dark. It was, they were so big, they were going into space. It was, space. they were huge. Now I've got a question for you here guys. Can somebody put in the comments for me below? I'm no meteorologist, meteorologist, meteorologist. Don't even know how to say it. But can somebody please tell me why, and I'm gonna show you this now. When you've got the mountains, why do all the clouds congregate at the top of the mountain, and it looks gray and dull and dark and scary. And then as Dee pans around, you can see the sky turns to clear blue. Why is that? Can somebody tell me? I know you here in the speech also, you can do a photo shoot, which is only available on Patreon. 
because oh, yeah. D can wear nothing. Because Because normally when you go to a beach, you've got nothing, there always seems to be a guy, or a guy and his wife, who will take a beeline towards you. That's true. But here, true. No. we're going to be there. However, another question for you. I'm relying on your responses here, guys, because I'm absolutely 100% serious when I tell you, and Dee's confused by this as well, what the hell is going on when somebody takes their young child for a stroll along a beach that is known to be a gorgeous beach. Why? I mean, this child was what? How old are you? Four? Four, yeah. About four. Must have been about four or five. Strolling along, there's people in the water with no clothes on. There's women sunbathing, topless. And they're walking past with a child. Tell me, would they brief the child beforehand and expect the child to see certain things? What do you do as the person that is modeling or bathing in the sun or enjoying yourself in the sea with nothing on? Go away, fly. What do you do? Do you cover up? Because you don't know what the parents have told the child to expect. What are they thinking? Pictures are amazing, guys. You should see them back to the pictures. The pictures, guys, were amazing. Oh, I've never seen these pictures. I've never seen pictures. Dee's never taken pictures like this of me before. The scenery is outstanding. I performed quite well, actually, I must say. I did very well. And uh, yeah, I was, I was kind of soaking up the environment at the same time. I was loving it, actually, because you don't have to be discreet. It's great. The pictures. And he's doing some short films as well. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Beautiful look of them. Um, awesome. But we've got a lovely one, particularly with the wind scratching on you. And you are there. Really, really loud, but incredible pictures. Some of the best pictures for real estate. And Please. they're all on where? They're all on. All of them are over on Patreon. Now, one more thing. Guys, if you do go to Cafetti, Cafetti, is that right? Don't swim in the sea. There were some people splashing around in there in the shallow area. But I was having my photo taken, Dee was standing in the water, and I could stand up in the water no problem. Probably came up to about my waist. If that, I don't think I went in that deep. And as the wave came, it pushed me over. It's furious. The sea's furious, but it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Worth the trip. Worth the trip, but we won't be going back. <laughs> we won't be going back there. Oh, one other thing. There is a building there. Oh! It's very strange. There's yes. a building there called Villa Winter. Okay, let me repeat that for the guys because I'm wearing the microphone. There is a building there, up there, as Dee said, called Villa Winter, in case you didn't hear him. Villa Winter. And it's literally in the mountain, on the side. It's like it's stuck on the side of the mountain. Beautiful it building. Was, it was built by a German engineer and he built it in the theme of the Black Forest and allegedly there are conspiracy theories about it, how it was involved in the uh, war effort for the Nazis. But it's really strange because it kind of looks over the whole beach. Yeah. It's really, really strange. Hopefully Dee will put it up on the... Uh... I will. But I'll show as, I said, as I said, it is truly breathtaking place but it's beautiful it is so scary it's just so nobody having water sports nobody on boats can't do that nobody the sea's too rough no the sea will take them sea will take them nobody on boogie balls or anything. nobody selling anything no no vendors nothing nothing, nothing like that it's no. just it's just alone. picturesque it's good for pictures it's great for us right guys well, thank you for watching. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. He leaves me speechless sometimes. Actually, I was very speechless in the car when he was breathing deep because I didn't know what's going on. I actually didn't know what's going on. It wasn't funny though, to be honest. Right. We love you all very much. If you haven't done so already, and you are one of the 90, 
4% of people Try that don't subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. We do appreciate, if you appreciate the channel, hit the button and the bell notification. So without further ado, take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, don't go swimming in any rough seas, but do take lots of pictures. Peace to you, love and happiness to each and every one of you. We do love you, sincerely, and thank you for watching. Right Dee, I'm gonna go and get in that pool. Okay. See you later. Yeah.